What's up, people? Sorry I didn't do this video yesterday. I was supposed to do this one, but something came up. But, we're here now. I am here. We're gonna review uh, Jaws 3. Um, I rewatched it last night, and it has its issues. Like, I won't say it's a horrible film. I won't. I think the premise is there. I like the idea of a shark you know, in, in like, a SeaWorld-type place. I think the ending's goofy as fuck with the dolphins. I, I get it. You don't want to just do another straight-up blow-up scene. But you should have. <laughs> I don't like the idea of that. That was just cheesy. You make your... Even though it's an animal. The antagonists look really bad. <laughs> and, yeah, still, later on, I'm still going to do a Jaws 4 review. It's... So, I'm probably going to, after this video, watch it. But, um, I remember watching this a couple years after Jaws 2. And I, I will admit, I was a lot more nicer to it when I first watched it. Because I was still, like, a kid. And, like I said, when I'm a kid, I wasn't as picky with movies. So, I wasn't, like, super critical. I was just like, oh, it's a cool shark movie. You know? And you had Dennis Quaid in it. Who, I'll admit, is one of the better characters in the film. Is Dennis Quaid. Um, and the chick character's okay, um, I don't really, I think her name's Kathy or something, yeah, Katie or Kathy, she was alright, um, you had, um, uh, Michael who, and Sean, so no Roy Schreider in this movie, but, um, no real character moments, I think it's an alright film though, it's passable, um, but other than that, I guess before, just as usual, before I get started with the review, So the movie opens up <laughs> with a shark killing, um, <coughs> I'm just going to kind of skip the actual open because I don't think it opens up with somebody dying. It just opens up with like a sea world type thing. So the film really starts off with a great white somehow is able to get into, a it's sea world Orlando and then they're basically opening up um, tunnels, so that's, like, the main announcement, Katie, so that's the, the, um, the marine biologist with the dolphins, um, and then you have Shelby, who I think is, that's Roy, that's, uh, um, Dennis Quaid's character, so we get a kill scene, which was alright, I do think, though, the shark effects, in the last two films, man, the shark effects look really bad, like, it's really crazy because the first one had really good ones and i think jaws too in my opinion whatever you think of the film the shark looked really good in that film and then and that was in 1978 so this is only a few years later and also why this film looks weird is you got to remember and why you get a lot of like super close shots is this film came out in that like th this in the post 80s era how many movies did the 3D gimmick? I mean, obviously, it was a year after Friday the 13th Part 3 or Part 3D. This was Jaws 3D. It didn't even, they didn't even really call it Jaws 3. It was th Jaws 3D. And that was the gimmick. It was 3D. So, that's why it's kind of weird to watch it and not uh, 3D. And then we have Calvin, who um, is, is like, I think he's the black guy. He was an alright character. Like, it's very basic surface level characters in this film. There's no like, really only the first one had the strong character death, which I will admit is the weakest point. Even in a little bit of Jaws 2, minus uh, Martin, I will agree. I feel like like the sequels just don't have that character building that, that first film had. That first film had so many just good characters like Martin, you know, Hooper, Quint, obviously, and it's just, like, in this, I mean, in the sequels, especially 3 and 4, in my opinion, I just think the characters are weak. I think Dennis Quaid is good, but that's because it's Dennis Quaid, and I don't really, still don't really think he gets a lot to do. So, um, the shark, um, I'm trying to jump now, because really nothing happens for a little bit. So, the shark gets captured, and this is where, um, and the shark ends up dying, 
And it turns out that's not the only shark. That's the baby shark. I did like that. I really did like the idea of, like, more than one shark. It was... So, Overman, who died earlier, his body turns up, and it turns out that that's not the shark that killed him. And that the shark's mother. And I, I'm just gonna... I'll admit, probably the coolest scene in the movie. Um... I'm just gonna jump is when they're on the un underground tunnels and you see the shark come to the screen it like is flying to the screen and it uh, basically bursts into it I'll admit it's a really cool scene like probably the coolest scene in the film um after that it injures some people and then um and then Fitzroy's gets killed. Um, I think Sean's in the movie, but he's only in it, like, not really. So the shark, K Kay and Michael try to stop it. Sorry if I'm not going super, it's just, I just, I think that's the weakness of this film, too. There's not a lot to talk about. And a you know, funny thing is, as much as I think Jaws the Revenge is the worst film, Jaws the Revenge is a lot to talk about. I just feel like with this film just kind of goes so the shark attack but they get saved by the fucking dolphins um then they um i think they use a grenade and blow up the shark so that i mean i'm sorry I mean, this review isn't super long it's just there's not a lot to this film i think like i said the coolest scene is when the shark burst into um to the the um smashes through the glass and that was like probably the big 3d moment of the film and you got some good scenes of it attacking swimmers so like i said i don't think this film's complete bad complete shit i just don't think it's good i think the premise is there but i just don't think they did enough i think they should have cut the dolphins out of the film or at least let the shark kill one of them not, let's have both, it's, I don't know. It was, Jaws 3, I think Michael, played by, a uh, uh, fucking, De Dennis Quaid, did a really good job. I think he's, like, the best character in the film, but I just don't, and Katie's okay, um, she's, nothing really stand out about her. Like, a lot of the characters are just not, they don't really stand out to me, you know, and, you got some nice shark moments in the film, but the shark looks like shit. Not as bad as the revenge, because there's literally a scene in, in Jaws four where you can see like the mechanical shit on it. So it's not that fucking bad, but it's up there. It, um, I think the ending with the the dolphins. They should have just did the grenade. You didn't need the whole fucking. The dolphin thing that was cheesy um i do think if they just explored more and honestly try to do more characterization that's the weak points of the sequels of the jaw sequels is they don't really explore characters like it's oh here you, here's your characters for these movies but we're gonna give you like very surface level stuff and it just uh Out of ten, I'll admit the music was okay. I think that's like one of the even in Jaws: The Revenge. Like I think even in the bad sequels, I'll give them the music still really good. <clears throat> it's because you still have that John Williams score, so it, that's gonna always be good. <coughs> um, out of ten, I'd give this film. fuck um like a i guess if i'm gonna be nice i'll give it like a six i don't think it's horrible i think it's watchable if you want to force yourself to be like there's three jaws movies maybe but to me there's only two and this is like an elseworld story this film isn't completely horrible but it's not nowhere near the level of the earlier jaws movies, even jaws 2 um 
definitely better than Jaws the Revenge, which is gonna be so fun to riff on later. Because Jaws 4 is such a... It's such a fucking... Oh, man. It's so out there. The premise literally makes no fucking sense. Um... It, but... Other than that... Sorry about the stupid-ass helicopter you're hearing. Um... But, yeah, luckily the video... I'm gonna end the video soon. Um... But it's been fun reviewing the Jaws movies. I think... Whatever we think of Jaws 3 and 4... It's fun to go through the franchise, and at least we got to live out what review I got to review out and review those first two films, especially the first one. But you know, and it's gonna be fun to riff on Jaws: The Revenge. So that'll be tom later. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do a another bands I love, and then we're gonna finally get to the Sarah Connor video. No, we'll get to the Sarah Connor video on Thursday. I do want to do a. I'm gonna do a breakdown of that dumbass fucking Karen trailer. It needs to happen. It, it, I need a riff on that. That shit was retarded. It, I need a shit on that. So that'll be tomorrow. But later I got a Jaws the Revenge review. So I'm just gonna do both of them today. So, sorry I didn't do this video yesterday, but it's all that I had something to do. So, I'm gonna cheers and I'll talk to y'all later. Sweet ass win. <sighs> Fucking ass win. Warner Brothers, fuck Disney, fuck One Ring.net, <coughs> fuck James Bitch Ass Mangina. I'll talk to y'all later. <coughs>